Es que le pasa. What up, y'all? I love y'all. Shout out to y'all for being in here right now. Um, my name is Hey Kendra G. What up? All right. Hi, everybody. I'm glad that y'all could make it here today. This is yet another episode of Is It Five? So I'm your host, Chance the Rapper. And as usual on uh, Is It Five, we bring you crazy um, combinations of um, previously thought to be delicious items, um, put them together and see Is It Five? Um, so today... We're gonna be working with uh, some familiar things that we're pretty used to. Um, uh, we're, we're gonna be combining uh, a, uh, a a a grape, a uh, grape Kool Aid um, with a pink Kool Aid, um, but not in a picture as usual. Today uh, we are going to use. Uh, the uh, the advancements of uh, technology to freeze this crazy combination of Kool Aids, um, uh, and then turn the ice cubes into uh, into um, mixing cubes, and then uh, put it in this kiwi mystic. So it's gonna be some familiar taste coming together to find out once again. Is it five? So, uh, the first thing that you're gonna do, uh, if you have your Kool Aid ready, uh, you're going to rip open the packets. You've got to shake them first. You're gonna shake them and rip open the packets. Um, I'm not gonna do that because I actually already went through the process. But uh, just for y'all at home, if y'all are doing this along with me, you're going to uh, you're going to take two packets of Kool Aid. You're gonna have your grape, uh, your grape Kool Aid, and your pink lemonade Kool Aid. You're gonna get a measuring cup, a Pyrex if you have if you have it. If you have a Pyrex, that would be good. And take a Pyrex like this, okay? And you're gonna fill it up with about. I'm gonna fill up with a lot of sugar. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's gonna be a lot of sugar going on. A lot of sugar. So you're gonna take this and take this sugar like this. Okay? And you're gonna pour it in. You're gonna pour some in there. Pour some in there. You're gonna want about a fourth cup of sugar. About a fourth of sugar like this in your Pyrex, okay? And then you're gonna just take, you're gonna take two packets of Kool-Aid. You have your grape and your pink. Um you gonna shake them, and you're gonna pour these. You're gonna pour these in there like so. And uh, because the the pink Kool Aid is a lighter tint, um, that grape is gonna dominate it. So it's gonna look like it's gonna look like very fine when it mixes up like this. Okay, and then because of uh, Because of the way that, um, that Kool-Aid, oh! <laughs> oh, God. I just got burnt by the, uh, there's a dishwasher underneath here. Because of the way that liquid interacts with powder, in order to, to properly measure this, I'm gonna need to uh, move this solid. To another cup, and I'm gonna measure out three fourths water in here. Three fourths water in here. This is the person I was looking for. You was looking for me? Don't say anything crazy, I'm gonna lie. 
Marley. Okay, I'm doing a whole thing right now. My food is downstairs. Ah, yeah. You can hold it while you do it. Alright, I'm gonna hold it. Okay, I'm gonna hold it. Alright, so, you're gonna get about you know, three fourths cups right here. That's, that's how much this is in this Pyrex right now. And then you're gonna pour all this sugar and Kool Aid into your Pyrex like this. Right? And then you're gonna get a spoon. You get you a spoon and you mix it up. Mix it up like this. I'm gonna slow stir it like this. Yeah, Mari, you know that's you know that's gonna be good. Um, and if you notice, I didn't put nearly enough sugar in there. Um, that's because what I'm going for in these cubes is a um, is more of a sour, more of a sour vibe is what I'm trying to get out of this. I'm gonna just stir it like this. Keep stirring it. Um, and um. Once you stirred it enough, I'm gonna get a text message. You, you stir it up so much, you know, till it's completely the sugar and the and the and the Kool-Aid powder are completely dissolved, and it becomes a uh, thick, delicious, um, great, great mixture. And then what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna get a uh, a ice tray. You're gonna, you're gonna wanna get an ice tray like this one, you know, and, and then you're gonna wanna, I think it's mixed. You're gonna wanna um, pour this mixture into this, move the sugar out the way. You're gonna wanna pour this in there, like this. Ooh. Ooh. No! No! I gotta do this. Oh my god, it's getting everywhere. Oh god. That looks good, huh, huh Marley? Woo! Did you sneeze in there? All right, so after you pour it in there, it'll be a dark, it'll be a dark uh, black mixture, sort of like this. Um, and you're gonna want to put that in the freezer. You don't want to put that in the freezer for at least, at least five, five or six hours. And um, and after you put it in the freezer, it's gonna come out frozen solid, like this. Yes, I was prepared. I already got it done. So um, now to the to the main part of our experiment. Ex exper experiment. And finding out if it is indeed five. Now I'm gonna put the ice cubes in here and pop them out. No, I gotta do this. I can do it. There we go. Oh, I think we got one. Oh, we got one cube out. Oh, I'm so sorry, Marley. I need you to grow up faster and be able to walk. I got another cube out. Can you, sing, can you do the high chair for a second? Hey. You got it? Mm -hmm. I was just gonna put it in this high chair for a second. 
here we go. Hey, sorry about that. A little technical difficulties. Um, so back to the main experiment. We're about to find out is it fire or not. We've got one ice cube so far, and we're gonna want to fill this up. These are again, these are uh, sour Kool-Aid cubes. Um, half uh, grape Kool-Aid and half pink lemonade Kool-Aid. So it's, um, I think because of the sugar content, it's hard to get them out of the ice tray. Usually I would just kind of twist them out. Might need like a, uh, a fork maybe. Are these dirty? No. So they're not, or they are? They're not? They're not dirty. Nice. I'm gonna get these ice cubes in there. I'm getting purple dye everywhere. You are. <laughs> But I'm thankful that you will <laughs> Okay, now we're getting a lot more cubes now that I've introduced the fork method. Okay. So we got about five or six cubes in there. Um, so uh, back to the, to the main question at hand. Um, we're about to find out is it fire or not. So, um, so now I've got these. These just look like charcoal. Yeah, they look pretty good. Yuck. All right. Well, but it's gonna be delicious. I'm sure of it. We've got two of my favorite things together: uh, grape Kool-Aid ice cubes and Pinky. We missed it. So, I'm gonna. Uh, no, nah, my muscles work. I just my hands were wet. So, look. About to pour this in here. Y'all yeah. ready? Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I, sh if I want, you know, I'm gonna pour a little bit more Mystic in it because I still want to taste the Kool-Aid, but I also obviously want to taste the Mystic. Um, so uh, this is a technique that my grandmother taught me a long time ago. Move it. I'm doing an experiment right now. What are you doing? I was making, I was using the Kool-Aid cubes mixed with some Mystic to see if I like the taste. I'm about to find out right now. The ice cubes, uh, the ice cubes don't float, so. That's a, turning me off right now. All right, time to find out, is it five? All right, here's the thing. <laughs> so, so here's the thing. Um, no, it's actually it's actually pretty delicious. Um, the issue is that I don't think the ice cubes are able to actually, for whatever reason, the ice cubes they're solid, but they're not um, they're not cooling my drink. They are they aren't activating a coldness. It's still it's, my Mystic is warm. And it really just tastes like straight Kool-Aid, to be honest. I think I might have added too many cubes, but um, if uh, if I'm being totally honest, it's not five. It's not five, but it is. Um, it is bearable. It is pretty tasty. I'm 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 definitely feeling the mixture of the two sugars, the processed sugars and the and the white bleach granulated sugars together are. Um, are both making uh making it i'm gonna shake it up a little bit more i was feeling like it's getting cold no it's not cold so it's cold at the bottom i think all right so here's what i'm gonna try yeah see all the ice cubes are at the bottom so i'm gonna stir it up a little bit i'm gonna stir it up a little bit ah so sour Okay, now it's now it's getting there. Wait a minute. I think it's just it was just warm at first. Now it's causing it to be. It's still not very cold. I'm gonna put some real ice in there. 
who are actually watching this. 5,000. Watching you make Kool-Aid? I thought you were making real Kool-Aid. Um, no. I was making, I was mixing my Mystic. This morning when I woke up, I saw the Mystic on the table and I was like, that's warm. And I got this ice cube Kool-Aid in the freezer from last night. Yeah. So I was like, let me mix it and find out if it's fly. And, um, to be honest, I just think those cool cubes aren't meant for actually chilling your drink. Because I like my drinks. Yeah. yeah, they're not really freezing. It's like, it's like molding, like, like jello. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like turn it into a... But we did do a cool science experiment where in terms of uh, making a... Uh, bring the Kool-Aid top. So anybody that's late to the party here, um, I uh, I just uh, was working on a little experiment on yet another episode of Is It Five? And um, I basically mixed the Kool-Aid's Cool Cubes. Kool-Aid Cool Cubes with this... Uh, Chicago staple right here, this 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 little strawberry tea we missed it, and um and the results are in. You know what I'll say? You know what I'll say about it? It's definitely bursting with flavor. A lot of flavor. Uh, sugar. I don't think I put enough sugar in it. That's really what it is. Is like impossible. No, Kool Aid is so like like think about. In terms of volume, how little powder you're putting in mixed with how much sugar you're putting in it. I have your tacos. You ordered the tacos? I thought you were making me the language. I am, but I'm, I'm too, I have steak tacos before I thought you weren't going to eat them. Yeah, you could have. Oh, look, you might want to bite. All right, y'all, so that's officially it. There you have it. We wanted to find out if it was five. And the answer was it wasn't. So I'll see you guys again maybe someday on another episode of Is It Five?